Hi and welcome to this Markup RXP video where we'll be looking at guide bars. So here we have a pattern that's been loaded up. So the first thing if you want to add guide bars to your pattern is to go to the app config screen. And in here if we scroll down you can see there's now a new option that says show guides. So let's just click that button. And you can see now that these guide bars appear in the, the top left hand corner. We can turn that off again if we just simply click the button. So let's just have a quick look at what that gives us. So with these guide bars, what we can do is if we click in the center here between the, where the two guide bars cross, we can drag a set of sidebars. And as you can see, there's actually two sets of sidebars. So there's one set there and the other set is up here, which we can we can drag down. So as long as you're dragging uh, where the lines cross, it will move both lines together. So here we can we can drag on this corner, we move him around, we can drag here, and we can drag here. However, if you're quite happy with, say, these up and down lines and you want to change the, the horizontal lines, what you can do is just grab that line and drag it that way, or that line and drag it that way. And the twos can be crossed over, they don't have to be in the same location if you don't want it. So they're just very flexible on how you would like to move the line. So that gives you an idea of how you can lay out your, your guide bars. But we do have some additional configuration for the guide bars. So if we click back into here and we come down, we have something called guide size. Now, if we keep an eye on the bars here, you can see they are currently set to a guide size of 20. But this can be increased uh, up to a total of 30. And if you see, the guides have actually increased slightly in size. Or alternatively, we can come down and we can do, if you keep looking at the guides there, you can see that they're, they're going right down and you can have that all the way down to one if that's what you would like. So let's just put him back up to 20 for now. So just to see uh, some of the other information that we have. So that's the guide size that you can control. What we also have is the guide color. Now this is the default color that we've just added it. And if you notice on the default color as well, uh, if you just zoom in here, you can see uh, that the guide bars uh, are placed on the grid, but you can see the actual symbols behind that. You can see the chart, so they're transparent. So let's just have a look at this guide color. So if you click on the new color control, you can choose any color you like. So if we wanted to change the color to say blue and say okay, so you can now see the guide bars are blue, but we also have the option to change the guide bar transparency. So we can say that we want the, the guide bars to be uh, completely opaque. Let's have a look, like so. Or alternatively, we can say, actually, uh, I just want them to be, we don't let you to set it completely transparent, so we do restrict that, but you can now see that it's very, very faint on there, so it doesn't interfere with your pattern. And that kind of covers oh, cancel. That kind of covers the main um, configuration of the guide bars. But just to go through this, if we go to some earlier pages, you can see that if it's a, a, an instruction page, or maybe it's the uh, the first page here, there are no guide bars. And the the thing that distinguishes it is if the page has um, a grid on it. So here there's a grid, and these pages is a grid. All the guide bars here, like this guide bar is set in the top left hand corner. The guide bars are a, a per page setting. So you choose how you want your guide bars to be set up on every page that you're working. And uh, that really covers um, the new guide bar feature in Markup RXP. Thanks very much for watching.